You know, you're the one that's taking the biggest risk in this situation. Is this uh, fatherly advice or preamble to AJ's a loser speech? Why do you make it so difficult for anyone to be concerned about you? Because every time I start to trust, the rug gets pulled out from under me. Listen, the only reason I ever agreed to this was for you, so that you'd have I a shot. To what, Alan? Why aren't you at the hospital? <clears throat> well, the staff meeting was canceled. What staff meeting? You're the chief of staff, and you don't know. Well, the cardiology department doesn't keep me terribly well informed. Again, agreed to what, Alan? You look exhausted, Mom, really. Alan? How is the triple bypass? OK. Whatever it is, you're going to lose, and Edward is going to win big you time. You know what? You worry too much, darling. Oh, darling. Well, it's got to be very big. Why don't you call it a night, and I'll be up there in a couple of minutes. You know, actually, uh, I thought I would have a glass of cranberry juice. OK, fine. Yeah, uh, I'll get it. Ma, you two are certainly getting along yeah, well. It's great, isn't it, Ma? Yes. Really. AJ's really stepping up, becoming a member of the family. Is your neck bothering you? No, it's just the weather. Would you like a twist of lime? Yes, thank you. We don't have any. I'll get some. OK. Oh, and bother Cook at this hour? Oh, she'll get over it. Well, we may not. I'm fine without it, AJ, really. OK. Well, you know what? It's, it's great to see you, Ma. Oh, what's the hurry? Tell me how your day's been. Uh, you know, fine. My, 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 my day's, you know, it's good. Same old, same old. Well, tell me about it anyway. Here is, uh, here's your cranberry juice, sweetheart. Go right ahead. I think I could handle a glass of cranberry juice, Alan. You could use some time alone. What? Well, I mean, you're the one that's always saying we don't spend enough time together, right? Well, I don't spend enough time with AJ either, in fact. I can't remember the last time you and I had civil words spoken between us. So, uh, why the change of heart? Uh, Dad's been working on me. You know, the, the, the parent-child bonding thing. Ah. Well, speaking of that, have either of you seen the baby? What baby? The baby Christina. Does that ring any bells? It's great to have her where she belongs, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure everybody would agree. OK, what's going on? What? Nothing's going on. Why are you so paranoid? Yeah. <sighs> I've got to take this. Well, why do you want to do that? You said you wanted to spend you some time together. You are terrible liars. Come on, Monica. We're not, we're not liars. You're, 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 you're leaving it, Edward. I can't believe this. What all these years of with you? Why did you let her in this room? She lives here. It's with the cranberry juice. Well, what else was I going to give her? I, I, if, we, if we hadn't got that page, who do you think paged her? <laughs> yeah. You I paged also, her? And I also made sure that Lila had a charity guild meeting. Now, look, gentlemen, we have a very narrow window of opportunity and an even smaller margin for error. Hmm? We're ready. You damn well better be, because if this thing goes wrong, the whole family stands to lose. No one more than you, right, Grandfather? <laughs>